the distinguished delegates from both countries, uh, friends from the media. Thank you for joining us today. A very good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to you. A warm welcome. May I request Honorable Raksha Mantri to make his remarks. Excellency Mr. Maris Main, Excellency Mr. Peter Dutton, Dr. Jay Shankar, ladies and gentlemen, two plus two, India Australia, Ministry of Health, Australia, Australia, के दोनों मंत्रियों का स्वागत करना मेरे लिए बहुत ही सम्मान की बात है और इससे मुझे भी बहुत खुशी भी है। Two plus two dialogue, India Australia, comprehensive strategic partnership के महत्व को दर्शाता है। भारत और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के बीच महत्वपूर्ण पार्टनरशिप है जो फ्री ओपन इंक्लूसिव और प्रॉस्परस इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन के शेयर्ड विजन पर पूरी तरह से आधारित है दो लोकतंत्रों के रूप में पूरे क्षेत्र की शांति और समृद्धि में हमारे कॉमन इंटरेस्ट है आज हमने बायलैटरल और रीजनल इश्यूज पर मिनिस्टर पेन और मिनिस्टर डटन के साथ गहन और व्यापक चर्चा की है हमने रक्षा सहयोग और वैश्विक महामारी के खिलाफ लड़ाई सहित व्यापक सहयोग के लिए विभिन्न इंस्टीट्यूशनल फ्रेमवर्क्स पर भी चर्चा की है हमने अफगानिस्तान हिंद प्रशांत में समुद्री सुरक्षा बहुपक्षीय स्वरूपों में सहयोग और अन्य संबंधित विषयों पर विचारों का आदान प्रदान भी किया है चर्चा के दौरान दोनों पक्षों ने फ्री फ्लो ऑफ ट्रेड इंटरनेशनल रूल्स एंड नॉर्म्स पर कायम रहना और सस्टेनेबल इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ सुनिश्चित करने की आवश्यकता पर विशेष रूप से बल दिया है बाइलेटरल डिफेंस कॉपरेशन पर हमने सभी सर्विस में मिलिट्री इंगेजमेंट का विस्तार करने ग्रेटर डिफेंस इंफॉर्मेशन करने की सुविधा प्रदान करने और म्यूचुअल लॉजिस्टिक सपोर्ट के लिए मिलकर काम करने का भी निर्णय लिया है डिफेंस कॉपरेशन के संदर्भ में मालावर एक्सरसाइज में ऑस्ट्रेलिया की निरंतर भागीदारी को देखकर दोनों पक्षों को प्रसन्नता हुई है हमने ऑस्ट्रेलिया को भारत के बढ़ते रक्षा उद्योग में शामिल होने और रक्षा उपकरणों के को प्रोडक्शन और को डेवलपमेंट में सहयोग करने के लिए भी आमंत्रित किया है डॉक्टर जयशंकर जी और मैं दोनों ऑस्ट्रेलियाई मंत्रियों को महामारी की चुनौतियों के बावजूद उनकी भारत की यात्रा के लिए धन्यवाद दिया है दोनों पक्ष एक स्ट्रांग और रोबस्ट पार्टनरशिप के निर्माण के लिए हाई लेवल इंगेजमेंट को जारी रखने पर भी पूरी तरह से सहमत हुए हैं धन्यवाद Minister Payne, Minister Dutton, mm. friends of the media. Uh, we just concluded the first India Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. Uh, this format is reflective of our growing engagement under the umbrella of our comprehensive strategic partnership. Uh, before our meeting today, I met uh, Mr. Payne in the morning uh, to discuss a range of bilateral, regional and international issues. I thank uh, both the Australian ministers and the Australian delegation for their efforts to come here in person to make this dialogue happen. As democratic polities, market economies, and pluralistic societies, we have a natural bonding that has assumed contemporary relevance in a changing world. It was during the first India-Australia Virtual Leaders Summit held on 4th June 2020 that our Prime Ministers agreed to elevate our relations to a comprehensive strategic partnership. This 2 plus 2 dialogue format is a direct outcome of that Leaders Summit and is pursuant to the comprehensive strategic partnership. India-Australia relations have experienced unprecedented momentum in the last seven years. Uh, there have been frequent engagements despite the pandemic in a range of areas. New mechanisms have come up reflecting new energies. Our people-to-people -people contact has added a unique dimension to this relationship through the flow of talent, ideas, education and tourism. Today, as the four ministers come together for the first time, we discussed our experiences and further collaboration in responding to the 
COVID-19 challenges, decentralized globalization, strategic autonomy, and a sharper sense of national security are some of the relevant outcomes. We also underlined our commitment to creating secure and resilient global supply chains. We welcomed the renewed vigor with which the both sides are now engaging on trade issues to fully expedite the complementarities between us. As has been stated by Raksha Mantriji, we have uh, had some significant progress in our defense cooperation framework, and we have set out an ambitious framework to further enhance our cooperation. Uh, the 2 plus 2 dialogue reflects the comfort that we have attained in our bilateral relationship, uh, especially in strategic and security spheres, based on the growing convergences with Australia on the security issues and a shared commitment to a free, open, prosperous, and rules-based Indo-Pacific region. The peaceful development of the Indo-Pacific has been a focus of our relationship. Our two countries believe that it should be shaped by a participative and in a participative and collaborative manner. We reiterated our commitment to continue to work together for peace, stability, prosperity of all countries in the region. This would include a rules-based international order, freedom of navigation in the international order, the borders, promoting connectivity as well as respecting the territorial integrity and sovereignty of all states. During the 2 plus 2 dialogue, we also exchanged views on developments in our neighboring regions, Afghanistan was understandably a major subject of discussion. We agreed that the international community must be united in its approach, guided by UN Security Council Resolution 2593. As members of the Quad, we recognize the importance of plurilateralism in a multipolar and rebalanced world. We appreciate the value of our trilaterals with Japan, France, and Indonesia, and will hold these dialogues soon. The importance of ongoing cooperation in multilateral arena for preserving the rules-based international order was also emphasized. Uh, our cooperation in the Commonwealth is important to that organization's performance. I also specifically took up with Minister Payne the problems faced by Indian students in Australia and those wishing to go to Australia, uh, as well as the Indian origin community that is resident there. I urge that difficulties faced by students due to travel restrictions be sympathetically addressed as soon as possible. Today is the 20th anniversary of 9-11. It is a reminder, if one is still needed, of the importance of combating terrorism without compromise. Close as we are to its epicenter, let us appreciate the value of international cooperation to that end. In conclusion, I once again thank Minister Payne and Mr. Dutton for their presence here in India today and for a very, very productive interesting panel. Thank you, sir. May I now invite um, Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Women of Australia, Senator Mary Spain. Thank you very much. And uh, to Ministers uh, Jashankar and Minister Singh, uh, Minister for Defence of Australia, Peter Dutton, to Australian High Commissioner to India, Barry O'Farrell, the Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Catherine Campbell, and members of the, uh, of the media. Uh, may I say what an enormous pleasure it is to be in New Delhi again. Unusually for Australians, we appear to have brought rain with us. Uh, we intend to take some home uh, because uh, we most certainly uh, need it, but uh, it is, as always, no matter the weather, a great pleasure to be here. I want to extend uh, our heartfelt thanks to our hosts uh, for their warm and generous hospitality and their facilitation of this extremely important meeting between Australia and India. This is my third visit to India in three years and I've stopped counting the number of meetings I have been able to have with my good friend uh, Dr Jashanka, many of them face to face, perhaps too many of them virtual and we look forward to uh, escaping the confines of COVID-19 to ensure uh, that those face-to-face -face meetings and international engagements can continue. That strong engagement, though, speaks to the powerful momentum in the relationship between our two nations. And it is an important step today, with the 2 plus 2 meeting marking another success stemming from our comprehensive strategic partnership and from the undertakings uh, that we are pursuing. Australia and India share a positive vision of a free, 
open, secure, inclusive Indo-Pacific. As maritime powers and outward-looking democracies in the Indo-Pacific, our cooperation is essential. We've talked today about many things, but including the strong and enduring Australia-India relationships in trade, in community links, in cyber and climate and defence. We have shared views on the challenges of the East China and South China Seas, of Myanmar and of Afghanistan. Last month did see the fall of Kabul. And along with the ongoing fight of terrorism, the future of Afghanistan remains a central concern to both of our countries. Both of our countries have been the victims of appalling terrorist attacks. And this day, the 11th of September, will be forever remembered for those terrible events of 20 years ago, when terrorism struck at the heart of our friend, the United States. And by extension, also, our modern, pluralist and democratic world. It's fitting that Minister Dutton and I should be here on this anniversary with such an important democratic partner. Ours is a relationship that supports stability and the rules-based order, a relationship that is based on the long-standing commonalities but is also full of vitality and promise. And I am very glad to be here today to see us take it forward another very important step. And I request uh, Honourable Minister of Defence of Australia, Mr Peter Dutton, to take the floor. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for being here. Thank you, Maurice, for your words. It's been a great okay. honour for Minister Payne and myself uh, to be here in the distinguished company of uh, Minister Jaroshenko. Thank you very much. And uh, also to Minister Singh, our uh, two good friends and two wonderful people for uh, the relationship. I too want to start today by acknowledging the 20 year anniversary of 9 11 and acknowledge that many people will still be suffering the loss of a loved one and they'll always be a reminder to us of the human cost of the barbaric acts of terrorism, which, as Mr. Payne points out, we see not only in the United States but in our own countries and indeed in regions across the world. And it's part of the reason why this relationship is so important and why we rededicate ourselves to the values that we share and that was reflected in the discussions today. Our discussions have been incredibly productive and from a year on, since the Prime Ministers uh, Morrison and Modi signed the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership, Australia and India's defence relationship is at an historic high. It has been a great pleasure, Mr Singh, to spend time with you and I thank you very much uh, for your engagement. I want to acknowledge your dedication in advancing the Indo-Australian Defence and Security Partnership and I too am equally committed to this partnership and to this endeavour. India is a rising Indo-Pacific great power and an increasingly significant security partner for Australia, particularly in the maritime domain. We both depend on free and open access to sea lanes in the Indo-Pacific for our trade and economic wellbeing. And we share an unwavering commitment to upholding the rules-based international order and ensuring the Indo-Pacific is open, inclusive and indeed prosperous. As our nations contend with an increasingly complex and uncertain region, the friendship and partnership between our two nations is essential essential for helping to ensure our region is secure and stable. And in this vein, I've been incredibly pleased to see the growth in joint exercises and activities between our armed forces, despite the challenges of COVID-19. As we speak, ships from our navies are exercising together off the coast of Australia's Northern Territory as part of AusIndex, our two nations' biannual bilateral naval exercise. Furthermore, we continue to collaborate in other areas like defence science and technology, and importantly, cyber security. Our mutual logistics support arrangement enabled Australia to airlift oxygen to India and support its response to the pandemic. Such activities are paving the way for 
for a deeper and more sophisticated operational cooperation between our two nations. Today, Minister C and I agreed to several initiatives to further our strong defence relationship and to drive greater practical engagement between our armed forces. Australia will invite India to participate in exercise Talisman Sabre and to continue to support Indo-Pacific endeavour as we saw earlier this week. Australia will continue to participate in India's exercise Malabar with the United States and Japan. Australia and India have agreed to reinforce each other's maritime domain awareness through increased information sharing and indeed practical cooperation. And finally, Australia will increase its defence diplomatic representation here in New Delhi, a very significant and historic step to support closer coordination on Indian Pacific maritime security and greater information sharing. This meeting was a vital opportunity to discuss practical ways to reinforce our comprehensive strategic partnership, deepen our interoperability and bolster our defence cooperation. I look forward very much to continued close engagement with Minister Singh. I thank the Indian Government for the warm hospitality that has been extended to Maurice and I. And I thank uh, you for your friendship, uh, which continues to grow on each of these occasions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ministers, for your opening remarks. Uh,